good evening my dear students and today i am here to just give you a video representation or uh, the explanation of a poem that is the legend of the northland written by fob carey and this has been the part of class 9 english syllabus in cbsc so before we discuss the poem let us talk about the writer the poet fob carey and uh, she created a big name for herself in american literature american poetry you can say and she was one of the nine children to robert and elizabeth carey that were uh, her parents and as a child she suffered the loss of her mother who died when she was very young and two sisters also passed away so religion and death both appear to be reoccurring themes in phobes life and uh, when she moved to new york city in 1850 they published uh, collections of their works both together and separately with her sister elis carey messe and uh, along with her literary publications she was also an editor you can say for uh, uh susan b anthony's the revolution that was the name of the publish uh, the the publication and after the passing of her sister after the passing of her sister alice that she died in 12 uh, on Feb 12th of february in 1871 phobe died just 5 months after her sister passed away and that was on july 31st october 71 now let us talk about this poem and this poem is a legend about an old lady who angered saint peter because of her greed and the story goes on like this uh, one day saint peter was practicing preaching around the world and he just reached the door of a cottage where this woman lived and she was baking cakes and baking them on a hearth okay so let us now discuss the theme that is the introduction to the poem now the northland is a very cold region and which is covered with snow all the time very close to the north pole and its closeness to the north pole gives this place a very cold weather with few hours of sunlight and the poetess has written that here the hours of day are few and nights are long in winter the people are unable to spend the whole night sleeping the poetess doesn't believe in the authentic authenticity of the story yet she is tempted to share this story and the poem a legend of the northland is about an old lady who angered saint peter as i told you because of her greed this story is of the northland area the area which is near the north pole and it begins like this one day saint peter was preaching around the world and reached the door of a cottage where this woman in our poem lived and she was making cakes and baking them on a hearth saint peter was fainting with hunger just working throughout the day and he just requested the lady to give him a piece of cake the cake that she was baking then appeared to be too big to her to be given to saint peter so she did not give him that instead she baked another smaller one but the smaller one that she baked it also appeared to be big so she did not give him that too and she the second time she baked yet another smaller cake but found it again too big to be given away in the third attempt she took an extremely little scrap of dough and rolled it flat she had it as thin as a wafer but was unable to part with that also this angered saint peter a lot he said that she was not fit to live in human form and enjoy food and the comforts and the warmth that generally human beings do he cursed her and transformed her into a woodpecker bird after saint peter's curse the little woman wept went up through the chimney and got changed to a woodpecker who had to bore in hard dry wood to get its scanty food 
and her whole body turned to coal black you can say because of her uh, because of going up through the chimney her red cap turned into that small cap like structure on the bird and that's why whenever a school boy passes through that way he sees that bird the woman turned into that we called a woodpecker just boring into the hard wood for her food this story may not be true it may be a myth but it has got a very important lesson hidden inside it that excessive greed is not good we should not be greedy at all and those who don't have the heart to give to donate okay they can't enjoy life okay so we should be all givers okay if we want to receive from life receive from universe it's all ours to be big givers and we should donate whatever we possess okay and we should not be holding our comfort and things of our comfort and whatever we can enjoy our life with rather we should learn how to give it to people thank you very much i hope you must have understood the poem that is very very easy the words used as very simple but it has got a very profound message and you should benefit yourself with the message that excess of greed is not good and you can also say that greed is not good at all so be generous be altruistic be good to others that is the lesson the poem carries thank you very much for watching this video watching this video